thank the lord you guys i like dropped my camera while it was charging the other day and i didn't think anything of it but i just want to go plug in my camera last night and my charger isn't fully going into my camera but it was still lighting up like it was charging so it was kind of dangling out my camera's fully charged the charger still does work but i need to order a new one anyways because i probably need i want to i'm wanting to get one to travel i don't know i'm gonna ask my brother-in-law because he's the tech guru if like getting an off-brand charger for my nice camera is gonna run it down because like with my iphone i don't really care as much <laughs> but with my camera it's a little bit of a different story you see but i'm currently doing my last lesson of the day which is a science i'm currently just writing down the vocab keyword thingies but i'm gonna eat here in a minute i have to finish editing today's vlogmas so i'll probably get that up before i head to work oh hey guys welcome to vlogmas day nine <laughs> all i have planned for today not quite sure what you're gonna get in this vlog we do have to try out a product though i'm gonna try out my new brow gel that i got yesterday okay i'll see you guys probably when i try that out hey guys i'm gonna make this speedy but i'm gonna try out what i opened up in yesterday's video which is the ulta beauty x pixar collab this is the toy story tweezer and brow clear brow gel kit I needed new tweezers and I just like love the way that these tweezers look. They're so stinking cute. And it was on sale when I was ordering Christmas gifts off of Ulta. So I went ahead and got just the whole set because I use brow gel every single day. My biggest thing with brow gels, it's so cute first of all, look at it. I've never tried an Ulta brow gel, but my biggest thing with brow gels is that they need to dry down. It's like iridescent and it kind of gives me like pizza planet vibes but it's probably supposed to be like buzz lightyear themed so very very thin i haven't had this thin of a brow wand before i'm just gonna use my little mirror here i kind of like how small it is because you can be really precise with the hairs i kind of like this so i'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup see how quickly it dries down and stuff my normal go-to's are this one from elf that they discontinued that i literally love and the 24 hour brow setter from benefit are the ones that i usually use i finished eating my breakfast which was literally just pop tart because i didn't really feel like making anything i don't really exactly have the time to make anything but you guys know my favorite step inner corner highlighter i do not have today's video ready i was hoping to be ready in time that i could edit a little bit more and i might be able to do that but it's not going to be able to go up until i get back i don't really know what we're doing for dinner Honestly, tonight might be a Chick-fil-A night. And I did use my matte powder. I'm trying it out again for just setting my blush rather than using my Laura Mercier to see if that kind of helps it a little bit. What should today's mascara be? Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. So you guys, I'm back from work. Um, I forgot to update y'all on the brow gel. I honestly haven't really even like taken a look at it. But I'm gonna do like a little test. So this is kind of what like happens with a lot of brow gels, honestly. And it's really hard to find one that does. Um, I honestly probably should have used a little more of the product. I'll try it again for sure. But it does seem to hold like the root of the lashes down. But when I go over and brush it, it kind of like fluffs them out the tips of them. It's kind of hard to explain. But I definitely do feel the brow gel on there. It didn't disappear. It's not tacky. It didn't dry as fast as my other brow gels. It did dry decent decently fast. I am going to eat. I got Chick-fil-A, but I didn't end up eating there. We got it to go. Then don't really have anything else. I have this like overdue English thing that I should probably do, but I need to finish editing today's video. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about how bad that is. Probably do some more of my dime painting. I kind of want to go down, go downstairs into the nail room, mess around down there because I'm wanting to practice some new designs and stuff because I haven't practiced on my fake hand in a good bit. But I was on, I was honestly super confused because I was told I was gonna be doing so many different things and I didn't end up doing them. Basically what ended up happening was for my whole three hours, I was in the back room on headset taking orders at drive through I was told I was gonna go outside and I really didn't want that to happen and I didn't end up going outside so I mean I'm happy about that also the powder does seem to hold um my oils pretty well I mean I'm obviously a little oily right here but I probably will still go in with the Laura Mercier just because I like the finish of it and then go in with the mattifying powder like I did when I tried the powder the other day I did get two packages delivered so I do have to open those so I might open those here in a minute and I'll see you guys when I do so I just finished eating and I have two packages. One is from Elevated Faith. I've gotten stuff from them, but I've never personally ordered from them. And then I have a package from Pure Vita. I ordered three times from Pure Vita. And here's why I'm confused. Because only for two of them, I signed up to get text message tracking. And the my necklace that I ordered was not one of them. But then I ordered 
something else they said they gave me a free gift so i don't really know what is going on but i'm so excited for the elevated faith package because if you guys don't know <clears throat> i say that way too much these what would jesus do he would love first this one is the become love and red these are my favorite elastics i wear them every single day to work out everywhere well i was going through elevated faith because they had an amazing black friday deal going on of course and i found that they had a pack of their version of the elastics and i was like hmm but it was sold out but then they had mystery packs that were on sale for like three bucks each and you get a mystery bracelet and when i looked at the options that you could get oh my gosh they were freaking adorable so i got three of them and i'm pretty sure i got like free shipping and all that so i think i paid like nine dollars flat there was one website that didn't have free shipping it might have been this one i don't remember anyways so i don't know what these are gonna look like this is gonna be a surprise if i don't like any of the designs i'll probably i just cut something whoops <laughs> i'll probably gift them to somebody but they were such cute designs mystery reversible wristband small so just like the he would love first ones they this one's a little dirty because i wear it to work but it has the reversible so first we have a card that says share your story all these little photos cute cute imagine if you were on this photo super super cute oh my gosh i love how it has their logo on it okay if i can open it i'm gonna do it blinded and these okay no hate towards he would love first i'm literally an ambassador for them but these feel a little bitter but also that could be a bad thing because they might not be as stretchable. You either had a small fitted version that you could choose from or, or a wider fit one. And I like my bracelets to stay up like here. I got the tighter fitted one because they said it could stretch out. So first we have orange, which is one of my favorite colors from fact. Um, and it says, Jesus saves. And then you reverse it. And it has this on it, the other side. Oh, I pulled out the other one. Whoops. This one, ooh, I love me some black because it goes with everything. So we have this adorable little like mauve black cross moment. And then we have a Jesus changes lives. And then if we reverse it, it's kind of like this like checkered, not checkered, plaidish design. And then here, oh, it has the, glo the map, the glow the world the globe and then it says he has the whole world in his hands and then on the other side it's just a bunch of planets a bunch of earths cute cute i was hoping to get one of the purpley pinky ones um but i most likely will be purchasing these again but let's try it out on my wrist to see how it feels the tighter fitted oh yeah that's literally perfect it's like just barely loose but it's not gonna slide down yeah i definitely recommend unless you like know that you have like chubbier wrists i'd recommend getting the fitted size in case you're wondering in like a low kai i'm about a large it's kind of how i like reference to my wrist from pure vita when i li i literally don't know what the heck it's gonna be in here because like i said i ordered way too much it should be my necklace though but i feel something else in here so that's why i'm confused okay yeah it's my necklace but what is this other thing oh are these just the stickers i forgot i get stickers when you order are these the if you guys saw my last Pure Vita unboxing, my first ever Black Friday package I got, they put stickers in like they do every single time. But these are different because the ones that I that I just got, they're like brand new and I haven't gotten them yet. And here's more new ones. I'm really struggling to get this out of here. Wow. So we have Pure Vita, little star, or star? Sun. Then we have, oh yes, beach all day. Literally, these are completely different than the ones that I just got like a couple days ago. This one says Pure Vita. I love this like hippie color scheme. Oh, that's so cute. Pure Vita. <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep repeating it. Pure Vita. And then Surf's Up Babe. Oh, these are really cute. I was not expecting that. I forgot about the stickers first off. And then I was like, oh, well, I've already gotten the stickers. Okay, this is my necklace. She's a little tangled up. So this is, my mom doesn't like this necklace, but I literally had wanting it for so long and it was on sale for literally such an amazing price. Like it was insane. I knew that I wanted it and I wasn't going to buy it for myself unless it ever went on sale again, which is not likely. So Pure Vita's chokers are my absolute favorite. I'd seen this one. If you don't know, I grew up in Florida for seven years. I'm a little bit of a beach bum. I literally love it. And so I also can sometimes have a little bit of an attitude. I'm not going to lie. So this little silver choker, because I don't have a silver one says salty it fits me in both ways you know let's try her on this is the second to largest setting i've never had like a choker that like has words on it and stuff so she cute oh whatever i'll probably either leave it at this length or even go longer it's kind of hard to see the words though i will say that's why i was debating this necklace but i think it's really cute and if someone asks me what it says i can tell them it's salty i'm still waiting on three more packages i'm waiting on another pure vita i'm waiting on a romwe package 
and a I couldn't think of it at the moment but I'm currently waiting on a brand PR package as well it just wasn't processing my brain I'll see you guys later. <laughs> hey guys, I look like Hagrid right now. I just don't feel that good right now. I'm really tired. I just feel off so and really tired. But I really wanted to curl my hair because I want I haven't curled it in a while. So I'm gonna curl my hair while I watch some stuff and then I'll probably get in bed and start editing. So yeah. Hey, 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 Shades. So I used my clamper clamp curler which I have been practicing with for so long and I can never get it right. For some reason today, tonight, like I actually did it decent. I don't hate it because usually both sides look completely different, but I did it a way to where it's kind of like going to look that way. I like curled in two different ways, so it looked more natural. Very, very interesting. I do love the way that it turned out. Unplug my curler because I'm going to get paranoid that it's going to burn. Thank you for watching Vlogmas Day 9, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 10. Um, don't forget to subscribe and do all that fun stuff. Tomorrow I, tomorrow, tomorrow, I actually have a babysitting gig thing that I'm doing, and so I probably won't film with that because there will be children. <laughs> I know how to work tomorrow. Also, I feel a lot better. I'm gonna edit. Love you guys. Night. See you tomorrow.